also? Um, I think just consistency and um, being predictable for each other out there, knowing the systems and sticking to it um, at all times. And um, I think we're all very familiar with how each other game is out there individually. So um, you know, you got a job to do out there, and everyone's got to depend on each other to do it every every shift and every every game. Have your feelings changed on the hit that you took from uh, Cohen Twa two nights ago? <laughs> I don't really know how to answer that. Like feelings, as in what? Like just uh, the nature of the hit that uh, you took, and, and you know, kind of getting through all that emotionally at the end of the game. Yeah, not really thinking about it. I'm looking forward to tonight's game against Ottawa. When it comes to uh, the Sens and uh, the the firepower that they have up front, uh, what are you taking as far as the the biggest keys to handle them defensively back in your own zone? Yeah, they're playing very well, especially as the last uh, 20 games that they've played. So. Um, I think every team you get now is very desperate, um, whether they're in the playoff race or not. Um, players have a lot to prove. Um, players are trying to get new contracts. Um, everything matters, even when the teams um, are maybe statistically out of the playoff spot. So um, we need to be ready for whoever we're playing. Um, this team is right in the race on their side of things, so um, we've got to be ready for their skill um, their power. Um, special teams have been good for them, so... We need to be reliable there on our end of things tonight. And, um, yeah, just looking forward to the start of the game. Vince, the first pass has been really effective for you all this season. Has that been a point of emphasis for you all to beat the, beat the opponent by just passing up versus even having a full breakout? Yeah, I think just making life easier on the forwards, um, being predictable, like I said, and um, just letting the puck do the work as much as I can. Um, teams are so good at forechecking now and breaking teams down. and in their defensive end. So um, for me, it's just getting the forwards the puck as quick as possible, um, trying to get it out of our zone, and then creating off off the rush um, that way. I think that's when I find my offensive game comes in is when I'm just moving the puck up, making sure, um, being simple when I can in my own end. Um, I think we've done a pretty good job this year of um, breaking pucks out. Um, I think our transition game has definitely improved a lot from last year, especially in the neutral zone. So, um, yeah, for myself, I think that's just something I focus on is just being simple and um, I'm making that first pass as quick as I can. And how do you evaluate the degree of risk when you make a big pass like that? Um, I think just counting numbers. I think usually it's, it's always a numbers game, trying to push the puck towards the side of the ice where we have more numbers than them. So that's basically how I look at it. Vince briefly touched on Ottawa. They have Brady Kachuk, who obviously loves to try to set up and be disruptive at the net front. Mm. Obviously, defending that area in general is a priority, but does that take on any added importance facing a player like him? Yeah, I think even for myself, I'll, my last 10 games, I want to be a little bit tougher in front of our net. Um, even when there's not a lot of risk there, it can get pretty pretty chaotic when pucks are just thrown to the net uh, from the point. So I think just for myself, just... Be a little bit more patient underneath. Um, pucks can turn over quickly. Sometimes it's a bad bounce or um, a great defensive play by them. So just for myself and um, I think as a whole, we need to be doing a good job at both ends of the ice in front of the net. When there's a guy in front of the net that's creating a screen, what do you think is the best approach? Do you like? Do you want to move him out of there as much as possible? Because there's probably a risk too with like adding to the screen and yeah. the chaos in front of the goalie, right? Yeah, you see a lot of people that don't really understand the game saying to get guys out of the way when they're in front of the net, but it can also cause a double layer. So. Um, unfortunately, sometimes when things break down in your own end, they can get body position in front of your goalie, and um, if you have time, you, you want to get him out of the way, but um, on the other side of things, you want to try to stop him from getting to the net uh, in the first place. But um, yeah, you just kind of have to play your cards correctly when he's established position in front of the net. I think more than anything, you want to take away his stick, but um, yeah, I think it can kind of be misled that. Um, when there's a guy standing there, you want to have as many many guys or if not more guys on your team in front of him. But um, I think talking to the goalies and stuff, that can be a little challenging for them to see through you too. So um, I think it's just all timing and um, being um, you know, quicker than them to, to get them out front of the net. Okay. Go ahead. Um, just kind of with how things are going right now on uh, the penalty kill first off, just starting here, you know, how much does execution in that area matter for this team as we get uh, deeper and deeper in the March and more toward April now? Yeah, especially the teams are a big part of it. Um, you know, the the timeliness, the um, 
you know, the execution from, you know, from kill to kill, from power play to power play. I mean, they they play a huge role at this time of year. There's no doubt about that. It's not a team that's uh, fighting for a playoff spot right now. I mean, we know, know what it means for them, but uh, what kind of responsibility do your D have with uh, handling their forwards and uh, their ability? Well, it's a skilled group. Uh, they've, they've got a mix of skill, heaviness, hardness. Um, so you have to take care of this group. They're good off. They're good off the entry. Uh, they're they're confident to make plays if you give them time and space. Uh, they you know they uh, they can get you off the forecheck. They're going to get in and be be heavy and hard on the forecheck. And you know if you look at the way they do things, they they create offense off of that initial puck. Um, so you know you've uh, you know you got to really got to work to skate and take away time and space and be hard at the puck. The season Vince Dunn is having and he, the role he plays on this team. Do you feel like you guys dodged the bullet? No, I was. I, I don't. It's a fast play that happens quick. There's a ton of those every day, you know. And I know there. There seems like there's been a lot of talk about it. There's been zero talk about it inside of our inside of our room. I'll be honest with you. So, um, you know, even for Dunner, I'm sure he uh, he may have may have. I haven't even asked him if he's looked at it on video or not. I mean, he was there in the moment, so he probably doesn't need to. But there's been no talk about it. Um, just you move on to the to the next challenge and the next uh, the next day. Looks like Ruby again. Maybe kind yes. of evolved into a, kind of the one, a number one in the backup. Are you more No, you guys keep trying to push a number one, a number two. Jonesy's top eight in the league in wins. Gruby's playing really well. Um, so I'm going to push uh, push replay again on what I said. We've got two pretty good goaltenders that are a big part of where we're at. Um, so Gruby does go tonight, yes. If you've Continue to go back to Froden there in the in that spot on the, mm -hmm. the line with uh, with Gord, I guess. Do you, do you like that mix with him in that spot and just the, the top nine in general? It's still pretty. It's still pretty new. I mean, he's been there now. This will be the third game. Um, he's you know he's uh, you know he's had a couple games up with uh, with Wenny. He's had now a couple games with Gordy in that line there. Uh, he's a smart player. He's in the right places. You know, I've talked about his his ability to uh, to play in traffic. Um, you know, and, and to to have the play not die with him. You know, those are those are real key pieces. You don't find them in, in the wrong spots very often. Um, so, you know, right now the chemistry on that line, if you if you really break it down the other night, that that line was likely our most effective. I know there was you know there was a couple goals scored early in the game and things like that by uh, by some other guys, but that line consistently um, had had and showed some chemistry the other night. What does it say about well, Gordon Tolvanen, right? That you before it was done with Bjorkstrand, they were so effective. Swap in yeah. just as effective. Yeah, that's that's. I mean, that's why we felt confident in in moving Ollie uh, when we did. You know, um, you know, Wenny and Wenny and uh, Schwartz, he had done a great job for several games in a row. Um, you know, and we just felt like it was time to, you know, to make a little shift there. Ollie's got good chemistry with with Wenny has in the past, and it's continued. Um, and I think it says a lot about Tolvi and, and Gordy and the level that their game has been at. Uh, you know that uh, the Froads can jump in on the right side. Credit to him as well to, to fit into the way they play, uh, not change the style of that line. Those guys, you know, they're they're still playing the exact same way. Um, but you know, Gordy and Tolvi have been at a good level for you know for a pretty good distance here. Dave, attacking off the rush has been a big part of the speed that this team plays with this season. What's your evaluation of your defenders ability to launch that run for the first passes? Well, it really starts out of your D zone. I mean, that's where everything, you know, you get a little bit off transition, but probably not as much as you really think. Um, so you get, uh, you know, you get those opportunities, some of those 200 foot opportunities, you know, out of your, out of your D zone play and your D zone exit. And obviously you're, you know, most often your D are going to be at the heart of that. Um, and in most cases you need one of them helping out up, you know, getting up ice and being part of it as well. So there's a balance there. You got to know when to go. You got to know when, when to get out. Um, but you know our, our D have found a pretty good balance there. Dave, it looked like you were uh, experimenting a bit with the Schultz unit, second unit on the power play. Uh, are you looking for anything to do, or just you know trying to see how different guys play with each other there? On the power play unit? Well, no. I mean, you know, Schwartz he's not out there for morning skates, so there's a different opportunity there every day. Uh, Spronger had been out of the lineup for a little while, so he's you know he, he gets a, you know he gets some some reps, some looks. Obviously, uh, there's options there, and you want to try to keep everybody ready to go. Um, you know, in the event that you need to make a change in game or or you know between games. So 
that's you know that's the opportunity that's presented you know with uh, with Schwartz not on the ice for uh, you know for that work. That's the only power play work that we get. It's not like we practice. So you know that's that's our opportunity to uh, you know to get some different looks and uh, get guys into some spots and some reps. Do you anticipate Schwartz to be available tonight? Um, I'll have the lineup tonight for you about seven o'clock. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Good.